the one that is to come, that is Christ himself, hallelujah, but by his own blood, the Bible says he entered, uh, verse 12, not that by the blood of goats and cows, but by his own blood, he entered in once into the holy place. That is why Jesus is not coming to die again. He entered in what once. Uh, the blood was supposed to be shed once. The blood of Christ was supposed to come once. So the blood never stops speaking. The blood that gives us strength uh, from day to day, it never stops speaking. Today, by the blood of Jesus, I don't know the battles that you are fighting, but let the blood speak for you this evening in Jesus' mighty name. When Easter is coming, the enemy tries to mock the blood of Jesus Christ. If you listen to the news, all over, blood is being shed. Hallelujah. This senseless killing that happened in the school recently. Ah, this woman, why would this man take a gun and kill what innocent children and innocent people? If you listen to God, the accident that happened last weekend, ah, it was bloody accident. Hallelujah. Eight people died all of a sudden. Uh, you know, somebody that, that, that we know, the, the head was cut off. The head was cut off. The head was just went off from the body. Hey, immediately at the scene, the head was cut off. Why? Because the enemy is mocking the blood of Jesus. I don't know who is sacrificing ghosts and fowls and human being blood to mock the blood. But today, let the blood of Jesus silence that voice. If there is any voice that is trying to mock the blood, let the blood of Jesus speak better things to silence that voice in Jesus' mighty name. Hallelujah. It says, it says verse 12, neither by the blood of goats and cows, but by his own blood, he entered in once into the holy place, having obtained eternal word, redemption for us. No, that means the, you know, the blood came to redeem us forever. Eternal. Hallelujah. The blood does not stop speaking for us. The blood does not stop, stop what? Bringing that evil down. The blood does not stop speaking for our, on our behalf. We are redeemed by the blood. Eternal redemption. That is why when the enemy comes against you, you must say, I am the redeemed of the Lord. By the blood, I am redeemed. This evil will not come near me. This Easter, I will not see bad news because the blood is speaking for me. Because the blood continues to speak. In the season of Easter, the blood speaks better that is uh, today by the blood of Jesus, uh, and the voice that is speaking, uh, and the altar that is speaking, uh, and the tongue that is speaking, uh, we silence that tongue in Jesus' mighty name. The blood, how much more shall the blood of Christ? Hallelujah. He says, Look at verse 30. For if the blood of bulls, ah, that the blood of bulls, hallelujah, if the blood of bulls and of goats and the ashes. Hallelujah. Of an high farm, sprinkling the unclean or sanctified to the purifying of the flesh. How much more shall the blood of Christ? Hey, if those evil bloods, the blood of animals can speak, can speak, purifying and sanctifying, how much more the blood of Christ? There is another blood that is bigger. There is another blood that is speaking for you. This Easter, there is some blood speaking for you. Don't let the enemy silence you with the evil blood. Don't let the enemy silence you with the blood of a human being. Today, by the blood of Jesus, say, I am redeemed by the blood. Say, I overcome by the blood. Say, any voice of the enemy, by the blood of Jesus Christ, I overcome that voice in the name of Jesus Christ. The blood is speaking for you. This Easter, don't allow the enemy to stop you. Don't allow any blood to speak against you. Because there is another voice, another voice. Somebody say, another voice, hallelujah. Another voice is speaking for me. There is another voice that is speaking for you, which is the blood of Jesus. And by the blood of Jesus, every voice is silenced. Every tongue is silenced. Every evil is silenced. Don't let the evil speak against you. For if the blood of bulls and of goats and ashes, hallelujah, the ashes of an high farm, sprinkling the, the, the sprinkling the unclean, sanctified to the purifying of the flesh. How much more, verse 14, shall the blood of Christ, who through the eternal spirit offered himself without spot, ah, to God. You know, the Bible said that when before they killed Jesus, they looked at him. They said, is there any fault with this man? Ah, Pilate said, I cannot find any fault with this man. I don't know what this man has done. I've washed my hands from this man. He was spotless. There was no sin in him. There was no sin on him. He had no, he had no fault in him. That is why he said what? He said, how much more shall the blood of Christ, who through the eternal spirit offered himself 
without spot, without spot to God, purge, hallelujah, your conscience from dead works to serve the living God. The Bible says he offered himself. Revelation chapter 5, if you look at from verse 1 to 5, the Bible said they were looking for someone to break the seal. And Jesus said, I am here to do it. Uh, thou son of David, I came to speak to somebody. There is a blood that is speaking for you. There is a voice that is speaking for you. I don't know the voice speaking against you. I don't know the blood speaking against you. But as you are hearing my voice, uh, wherever you are hearing me from, this Easter you not record bad news. This Easter you not hear bad news. If you can use the blood of Jesus, if you can speak the blood of Jesus into your life, uh, into that situation, uh, that situation of sickness, that situation of pain, whoever is sick, whoever is in pain at the hospital, today I speak the situation of the blood. Let the blood speak for you. Let the blood stop that voice. In the name of Jesus Christ. There are voices that speak. But the blood of Jesus silences every voice. But, and for this cause, verse 15, hallelujah. And for this cause, he is the mediator Ah, that is the best one. That is where the message is. He said, what? The mediator. The blood is mediating for you. The blood is interceding for you. The blood is speaking for you. Ah, the mediator of the New Testament. Ah, what is that New Testament? When the New Testament is talking about is the covenant. That's why if you look at Zechariah chapter 9, verse 11. It says, as for, as for thee also, by the blood of thy covenant, I what? He says, I he said, you prisoners of what? Of war. I've delivered you. I've delivered you. The Lord has delivered you from the port, from the prison where there is no water. I don't know the prison that you have been kept. I don't know where the enemy has kept you, but by the blood of Jesus, you are coming out. There is another testament speaking for you. There is another voice speaking for you. There is another tongue speaking for you. Those that are hearing me, wherever you are, say, I am the redeemer of the Lord. By the blood, I am redeemed. I will not hear bad news. My children are redeemed. My family are redeemed. My siblings are redeemed. I will not hear bad news. Wherever the enemy has not Bad news today. I silence it in Jesus' mighty name. Let the blood speak for you. Let the blood be a voice. Let the blood be a terminating voice to terminate the voice of the enemy, to stop evil tongues, to stop evil altars, to stop witchcraft altars. What is that blood that is speaking against you? Tell us when there's another blood, another blood, the blood of Jesus. By the blood of Jesus, I speak the blood. Say, I speak the blood. I use the blood of Jesus. And by the blood of Jesus, I am covered. By the blood of Jesus, I am protected. We are in the season of the blood. The blood is speaking for me. The blood that gives me strength from day to day. And it will never lose its power. I don't know that thing which is fighting against you. But today, there's a blood speaking for you. By the blood of Jesus, we silence that voice. And for this cause, he is the mediator. The blood is the mediator. Hallelujah of the New Testament, that by means of death, ah, by means of what? Death. He came to die because the blood had to come on this earth. He came to die a gruesome death. Ah. They, 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 must say they pierced him. Ah. They put the crown of thorns on his head. Ah. The blood was oozing. The Bible said that what they spat at him. He died a shameful death. Why? Because of me and you. Because of the blood. He wanted the blood to touch the earth. He wanted the blood to sprinkle on the earth. Hallelujah. Bible said that is why you don't have to see these violent killings again. You don't have to see these violent accidents. Uh, the accident I'm talking about, if you hear Ghana news, if you watch it on Facebook, on YouTube, ah, you, you cry because you see people's head cut off. The blood that was being shed. Why? Because Satan wants to mock the blood of Jesus. But if you are the redeemed of the the blood. If the blood is covering you, if the blood is upon you, the blood is ahead of you, no evil will come to you. Today, by the blood of Jesus, that evil must be silenced. That evil must come to an end. In the name of Jesus Christ. And for this cause, he is the mediator of the New Testament. That by means of death, for the redemption of the transgressions that were under the First Testament. Hey, the redemption of what? The transgression. Ah, the transgression that came from Adam and Eve. The, the, the Bible says he came to redeem us from that transgression. The redemption of the transgression that were under the first testament, they which are called might receive what? The promise of eternal inheritance. So the blood brings us eternal inheritance. Hallelujah. For for where a testament is, ah, you know, wherever there is there's a covenant, wherever there is a testament, a testament is like a will. Wherever the will is, 
the, the testator must die. Somebody must die before the will will be activated. Somebody must die before the will will come to, uh, to life. Somebody must die before we will hear the voice of the will. Until the person dies, you cannot open the will. That is why Jesus came to die. That's why Jesus had to die. He came to die. That is why he kept his mouth shut. But he came to die so that you will live. So you will enjoy the will. So you will enjoy the testament. So the testament is for you. So don't let the enemy kill you again. Don't let the enemy use your blood. Because the blood of Jesus is speaking for you. This evening, I just want to encourage somebody. I want to activate the blood in somebody's life. I want somebody to stir the blood, to say that I am not dying. I will live to the glory of God. The Lord has died for me. He brought his only blood, his only begotten son, to bring the blood from heaven, to come to this earth, to pour the blood on this earth, and by that blood, to sacrifice that blood, I am living, I am not dying. Tell somebody, I am not dying. Say, and verse 16, for where a, testam a testament is, there must also, of necessity, be the death of the testator. And the testator is Jesus Christ, hallelujah, because he had the covenant with us through his father, through his father God, hallelujah. But said that in Zechariah 9, verse 11, that I quoted, that as for thee, as for thee, by the covenant of the blood, by the blood covenant, hallelujah, he said, I'll set you free, you prisoners of war, you prisoners, ah, that has been kept. Ah. As for thee also, by the blood of that covenant, I have delivered you, some other verses to say, from that what from that page where there is no water where have they kept you where is that prison they have kept you today i speak by the word of god today by the blood of jesus you are coming out from that evil that prison door will not hold you that battle will not hold you that altar will not hold you that voice will not hold you that thing that is making you to feel like you are dying today it comes to an end in jesus mighty name for where the te a, te a testament is there must also of necessity be the death of the testator. That is why when somebody makes a will, that person must die before the will will be activated, before the will becomes active. So far as the person is alive, if you take the will, you don't get anything because the person is alive. Hallelujah. The person is there to enjoy his, his world, his things that he has done. His image is there. His body is there. He can breathe. He can speak. He can say, here I am. That is why the person must what, die first. Hallelujah. It says the, the testator must die. And if you look at verse 17, for a testament is of force after men are dead. That is what I'm talking about. The will is of force after men are dead. Jesus came to die for us. We all saw that he died. We all read from the Bible that he died. So the Satan cannot say that he did not die. Because of that, the testament is speaking for us. Because of that, the will is speaking for us. Because of that, the blood is speaking for us. We are enjoying the world, the will of God. We are enjoying the will of Jesus Christ. He is the testator. So by the blood of Jesus, don't allow any blood to speak against you. Let the blood of Jesus speak better things for you than any evil blood. Let the blood that will rise up. Today we silence that voice in Jesus mighty name. What? It says, it says, for a testament is of force after men are dead. Verse 17. Otherwise, it is of no strength at all while the testator liveth. That's what I'm explaining here. Until, until the person who made the will dies, the will is of no force. The will has no power. The will has no strength. Out. That is what the Bible is saying. Where, where, verse 18. Whereupon neither the first testament was dedicated what, without blood. For when Moses had what, spoken every precept to all the people, according to the law, he took the blood of cows and of goats uh, with what, water. You see, Moses sprinkled the blood of goats and cows. Hallelujah. That had no word. The Bible said, the Bible said uh, that the blood that was, the, what, was given, whereupon neither the first testament was dedicated without blood. So the first testament was done with blood, but that was not valid. But the blood of Jesus is valid. The blood of Jesus is speaking for somebody. That is why this evening, uh, that is why this Easter, you must activate the blood. That is why we are we have entitled our conference the, to silencing the voice of evil tongues. With the blood of Jesus, silencing the voice of altars with the blood of Jesus, silencing the voice of witchcraft with the blood of Jesus, that evil sacrifice with the blood of Jesus. By the blood of Jesus, we silence that voice. Hey, somebody, the blood will speak for you. You, the blood will make sure you don't go down. The blood will make sure that evil will stop. The blood will make sure that the violence will stop. 
What is that violent thing that you are seeing? What's that violent evil that you are seeing? This is that it will not come near your family. The Lord will deliver them because of the blood. Because of the blood of Jesus, you are coming out of every evil. There is no evil that will come near you. May the Lord deliver you wherever you are. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. If you look at Genesis chapter 4, hallelujah. Genesis chapter 4, I think you've got a foundation. Let's go into it now. Genesis chapter 4, if you look at verse 9. It says, and the Lord said unto Cain, where is Abel thy brother? And he, he said, I know not. You see, physically, Abel was dead. He was not there again. His voice was not there again. But if you continue, hallelujah, when he said, I know not, he says, am I, well, am I my brother's keeper? And he said, what hast thou done? The voice of thy brother's blood crieth unto me from the ground. You see, the voice of the blood of Abel was speaking. There is, you know, that, that tells there's power in the blood. If the voice of Abel was speaking, how much more the blood of Jesus Christ? If the voice of animals can speak, uh, that's why when you go to some places, they will ask you to make sacrifice. They will ask you to use those things, to use the animal. You see, my Bible said Jesus has come to die once and for all. And after the death of Jesus, there shouldn't be any blood shed again. There should be any animal blood shed again. Because the blood of Jesus speaks better things than any other blood. Because at that point that we are reading, Genesis chapter 4, verse 9, the blood of Abel was speaking. The blood of Abel was very powerful. The blood of Abel was very potent. The devil was using the blood of Abel. That's why the curse came upon Cain. Ah, the blood of Abel was speaking curses. And look at what, look at what, look at what God said after that. What hast thou done? The voice of the or thy blood, thy brother's blood, hallelujah, cried against me unto, of, from the ground. Cried or unto me from the ground. And now are thou cursed. You see, the blood of Abel brought what? Curse. The blood of human being will bring curse. If you kill an animal, the blood will bring curse. Because the blood of Jesus is already speaking. Ah, don't let any blood speak against you. Don't let any curse come upon your life. Don't allow the enemy to manipulate you. Don't allow witchcraft to manipulate you. Don't allow the demon to manipulate you. Anything that will make any blood to speak against you. Today, by the blood of Jesus, we silence that voice. I don't know the voice that is speaking. I don't know the tongue that is speaking. I don't know the voice of the enemy. But today, by the word of God, uh, in the evil voice, uh, in the demonic voice, uh, in the evil blood uh, that will speak against you, by the blood of Jesus, we silence it in Jesus' mighty name. Wherever you are hearing me from, this Easter, uh, activate the blood. This Easter, uh, use the blood. The blood is there for you. The blood is a testament for you. The blood is your will. God says that one, the testator came to die because of what us. He came to die so we will enjoy the testament. So we will enjoy the will. So don't sit down for the blood to speak against you. Hallelujah. Don't allow any blood to speak against you. That's why if you look at Hebrews chapter 12. Hebrews chapter 12. Hallelujah. Hebrews chapter 12. If you look at verse 24. Hallelujah. Hebrews 12 verse 24. And the Bible said, and to Jesus, the mediator of the new covenant. Hallelujah. The mediator of what? The new covenant. He, he, he is the one that interceded for us. The blood that was in heaven, he brought it to this earth. Hallelujah. To come and mediate for us. The mediator of the new covenant. And to the blood of sprinkling. His blood was sprinkling. When, when they put their tongues, the blood was sprinkling. When they pierced him, the blood was sprinkling. When they did all those that they did to him, the blood was sprinkling. When they whipped him ah, with tongues, ah, with all those things, the blood was, was sprinkling. That's why it says, and to the blood of sprinkling, that speaketh what? Better things than that of Abel. Hebrews 12, verse 24. To the blood of what? Sprinkling, that speaketh what? Better things than the blood of Abel. That means there is a blood that is speaking for you. 
It's not the blood of animals. It's the blood that was sprinkled. It's the blood that came down. The blood from Jesus Christ. Today I speak by the word of God. As this message is coming to somebody, let the blood of Jesus speak for you. Let the blood of Jesus speak for you this Easter. If there is any blood speaking contrary to the word of God, contrary to the voice of God, today we silence that blood. Let the blood of Jesus be a voice for you. Let the blood of Jesus determine your life. Let the blood speaking against you. Today by the blood of Jesus, we silence it in Jesus' mighty name. To the blood sprinkling, hallelujah, that speaketh what? Better things than the blood of evil. So I've written here, no sacrifice is above that of Jesus Christ. The, the sacrifice that Jesus came to make on this earth, there's no other sacrifice better than that. And I've written here, by the blood of Jesus, I overwrite. Say, I overwrite. Somebody say, I overwrite. I overcome that evil. I overcome that altar. I overcome that voice. There is a voice in the blood. The, the voice in the blood is speaking for me. And by the blood of Jesus, I overwrite every evil. I overwrite every tongue. Any voice that is speaking contrary to the word of God. Any voice that is speaking against me. Today, by the blood of Jesus, I silence that voice. Let that voice be silenced. Let that tongue be silenced. Let that evil be silenced. Let that altar be silenced. In the name of Jesus Christ. There is the blood that is speaking for you. Hallelujah. I've just explained the blood of Jesus. When the blood of Jesus is speaking for you, what blood can speak against you? I've written here, when the enemy intimidates you, when you start seeing those dreams, uh, when you wake up from that dream uh, and you are panting, when you wake up from that dream and you are afraid, uh, when you are having that dream of death, uh, seeing dead people rise up and say, Satan, you are a lion. I am the redeemed of the Lord. Hallelujah. here. I am the redeemed of the Lord. I have an identity. The, te the testament is speaking for me. The blood is speaking for me. The redeem of the Lord. Say, by the blood of Jesus, I overcome those challenges. I overcome those dreams. I overcome those deaths. Then the death I saw in the dream. Today I overcome it. But say, even though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, in the dream you are walking through the shadow of death. But the Bible says what? He said, it will not harm you. Hallelujah. I will serve the Lord. He is my refuge. The Lord is your refuge. Don't allow the enemy to destroy you. Today, by the blood of Jesus, activate the blood. Yet though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, say, I will fear no evil, for thou art with me. Thy rod and thy staff, they comfort me. Ah, God will comfort somebody. The blood will comfort somebody. The blood will speak for somebody. I don't know the blood that they are using. I don't know the sacrifice that they are making. I don't know the animals that they have killed. I don't know what they are saying. But today, by the blood of Jesus, let that voice be silenced. Let that blood be silenced. By the blood of Jesus, we silence that voice. Somebody say, I silence that voice. Because the blood of Jesus is speaking for me. The blood of Jesus that speaks better things. The blood of Jesus that speaks better things than the blood of Abel. By the blood of Jesus, let every tongue be destroyed. Let every voice be destroyed. Let every altar be destroyed. By the blood of Jesus, I am redeemed. I am redeemed by the blood. In the name of Jesus Christ. When those dreams come around Easter, you see all these evil dreams. When they come around you, say, I am the redeemed of the Lord. By the blood, I am redeemed. Satan, you are a liar. That blood cannot speak against me because there's a blood speaking for me. And by the blood of Jesus, I have overcome. The blood of Jesus, the mediator of the new covenant, it is speaking for me on my behalf. Hallelujah. And they speak better things than any other blood. If the blood of Jesus speaks better than the blood of Abel, what is that blood that can speak against me? Today, by the word of God, I am redeemed by the blood. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. If you look at the book of Revelation chapter 12, Revelation chapter 12, hallelujah. You will see wonders though, as this, as we are approaching Easter, you will see wonders. But don't let the wonders destroy you. Don't let the wonders come against you because there's another wonder. Somebody said there's another wonder. You know, Jesus brought the blood of Jesus, of, of God from heaven. The blood that they overcame the enemy with, it came from heaven. And that's why, that's why when he woke up, from the dead. The Bible said that he said, don't touch me, but I need to go to my father in heaven. He had to take the blood back to heaven. He had to take the blood that he brought on this earth back to heaven. He took the blood and he went to pour the blood 
on the mercy seat. And the blood is there or well, interceding for us. The blood is there as a testament. The blood is there as a mediator. The blood is mediating for us. So any blood that is on this earth uh, is just a fake blood. Any blood that is on this earth uh, is just a camouflage. Don't let that blood speak against you. That blood cannot mediate for you. That is why when you go, I uh, see people that go to witch doctors uh, and they tell them, kill an animal. They are lying to you. That is an evil blood. The blood has no voice. The blood has no voice. The mediator, the blood that is in the mercy seat is speaking for us. Today, by the blood of Jesus, uh, today we declare we are redeemed. Uh, we are the redeemed of the Lord. No evil can come against us. No evil can destroy us. May the Lord deliver you from every evil by the blood of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Revelation chapter 12. If you look at from verse 7, hallelujah, because of time, starting from verse 7. But, and there was war in heaven, and there was war in heaven. Ah, Many of us are going through battles, and we think that it is only on this earth that we have those battles. It's only just us now having this battle. No. The Bible and there was war in heaven. There was war in heaven. Even in heaven, where the seat of God is, there was war. Why? Because the enemy was there. Wherever good thing is, there is evil. The Satan always wants to, when every time he sees good thing coming, when every time he sees God announcing something good for you, Satan wants to silence that thing. Satan wants to come and see what is there. The Bible say in the book of Job, chapter 1, when the, when the sons of God gathered, Satan came there. Satan, anytime he hears good news, he wants to come and investigate. Anytime he hears singing and celebration, he wants to come and investigate. That is why anytime you are doing those things, you must first one, cover yourself in the blood. Because the blood must speak for you. Because if you don't do it, uh, Satan will come there and destroy it. And there was war in heaven. There was war in heaven. Revelation chapter 12 verse 7. But Michael and his angels fought against the dragon. Hallelujah. And the dragon fought and his angels. Hey, when they were fighting, the dragon was also fighting. Hallelujah. But the, and, and what? And his angels. And prevailed not. Why did this battle start? Because this evil dragon manifested. When he saw the woman that was about to give birth, when he saw the woman that was about to give birth to a child, but the Bible said that what when he tried uh, uh, to destroy the woman, but said there was there was a hand uh, that lifted the woman, there was a hand that moved the woman up. Today the Lord will lift you up from that evil. When the enemy tries to devour you, when Satan tries to devour your blessing, when Satan tries to devour your seed, uh, when Satan tries to devour your children, the Lord will lift them up in Jesus' mighty name. If you look at verse 4, it must end. The Bible said what? Well, and he still drew the third part. Hallelujah. And why did the battle start? But, and there appeared another wonder in heaven. Verse 3. Oh, behold, a great red dragon having seven heads. Why did a great red dragon come? Because he saw this woman coming to give birth. And he still drew a third part. Verse 4 of the stars of the heaven. And this cast them onto the earth. Hey. And the Bible said, first, and she brought forth, verse 5, because of time, and she brought forth a man child who was to rule all nations with a rod of iron, and her child was caught up unto God. You see, Satan, the dragon, could not destroy the child. The child was caught up unto God. That is why the Bible said the dragon wanted to fly, but Michael and his angels prevailed against the dragon. They stopped the dragon from flying. They fought the dragon. And the Bible said, hallelujah, the dragon also fought back and his angels uh, first and prevailed not uh, neither was their place found anymore in heaven verse 9 was and the great dragon was cast out that old serpent called the devil today by the word of god when the enemy rises up against you use the blood of jesus to cast him out Use the blood of Jesus to cast him down. Today, by the blood of Jesus, uh, we cast down every evil. Let the blood speak for us uh, in the name of Jesus Christ. And the dragon was cast out. That old serpent called the devil. That means he was a serpent. Ah, the old serpent. Talking about Genesis. 
In Genesis, it was a serpent. In Revelation, it became a dragon that was flying, trying to catch the baby. But the Bible said the woman was baby was cut up onto heaven. The baby, the seed. Uh, the devil don't want you. The devil wants your seed. The devil don't want you. The devil wants your blessing. The devil don't want you. The devil wants the victory that God has given to you. But today, any demon that will rise up, uh, any evil dragon that will rise up, uh, by the blood of Jesus Christ, we overcome them in Jesus' mighty name. And the great dragon was cast out, that old serpent, verse 9, called the devil, and Satan, with his, well, which deceived what the whole world. He was cast out into the earth, and his angels were cast out with him. Ah, the angels were cast out with him. Today, may the Lord make whoever any conspiracy, and those angels that conspired with Satan, with the dragon in heaven, as they were cast down, so let every conspiracy be aborted in Jesus' mighty name. They were cast out into the earth, and his angels were cast out with him. Verse 10, and I heard a loud voice, say a loud voice, saying in heaven, now is come salvation. Now is come salvation. Ah, salvation has come. Why? Because without the enemy being cast down, there was no salvation. Even in heaven, ah, the enemy was accusing them. Satan was accusing them. That is why when the enemy is accusing you, say, I am the redeemed of the Lord. By the blood, I've overcome you already. There is salvation in my life. You cannot stop me. Satan, you are a liar. You, by the blood of Jesus, I overcome you. Somebody speak the blood. Speak the blood. Wherever you are, say, I am the redeemed. By the blood of Jesus, I'm redeemed. By the blood of Jesus, I cast every evil. I use the blood as a weapon against the enemy. In the name of Jesus Christ. And I heard a loud voice saying in heaven, Now is come salvation and strength. Ah! Even for heaven to say, now is come salvation and strength. There was a big trumpet. And they said, now is come was salvation and strength. That means the strength in heaven was limited. Satan was fighting the strength of God. Ah, now is come salvation and strength. And the kingdom of our God. Ah, the kingdom was not established so far as Satan was there. You, know, you see, that is why he must use the blood. That is why he must speak the blood. That is why this Easter, the blood must speak for you. Because nothing is established so far as Satan is on this earth. So far as Satan is on this earth, there should be a voice speaking for you. There should be a tongue speaking for you. He said, now is come salvation and strength and the kingdom of our God and the power of the Christ. That means the power of Christ was not complete so far as Satan was there. The power, the Satan was resisting the power. Satan was causing shaking in heaven. Satan was causing torment in heaven. Satan was causing a stir in heaven. You see, wherever you are, and there is power struggle, ah, you don't have peace. Ah. The Bible said they were not at peace. Ah. They said, now comes salvation ah, and strength ah, and the kingdom of our God and the power of his Christ. For the accuser of our brethren, when you are doing something and you are afraid, Satan will accuse you. When somebody is watching you, when you are doing something, ah, you shiver. You don't do it right. Ah. That was what was happening to the angels. They were battling with this Satan. Satan was the accuser of the brethren. Satan was accusing them day and night ah, before their God. Why? Because Satan was evil. But today, by the blood of Jesus, as Satan was cast down to this earth, ah, today we cast that evil out from your house. That evil is cast out from your house. In the name of Jesus Christ, and I heard a loud voice saying in heaven, now is come salvation, hallelujah, and strength. One, salvation. Two, strength. And three, the kingdom of our God. That means the kingdom was not was complete so far as Satan was there. It says, and the four, it says, and the power of his Christ. And the power of his Christ, hallelujah. The power was being contended. Hey, even in heaven, that is why when you see battles that you are going through, know that even in heaven there was battle. That's why some people, when they give up in the time of adversity, ah, when your strength is little in the time of adversity, ah, you don't stand a chance. If you give up in this time of battle, you don't stand a chance. Don't let the enemy stop you. Let the voice of the blast speak for you. Let the power of the blast speak for you. Let every voice be silenced. Let every voice that is speaking be destroyed. We silence that voice up. Say, and the power of his Christ. 
For the accuser of our brethren, the accuser of our brethren is cast down, which accused them before our God day and night. So Satan was accusing them day and night. Satan was fighting them day and night. Satan was making sure that day and night they will not prevail. But today, any accuser in your life, any Satan in your life that accuses you day and night, go before people, go before men of authority and accuse you. Today we cast them out in Jesus' mighty name. By the blood of Jesus, may the Lord deliver you. By the blood of Jesus, let there be a voice to speak for you. And the blood that is speaking, uh, the, by the blood of Jesus, we silence that blood. Uh, by the blood of Jesus, the voice of God will speak for you. We silence every satanic blood. We silence every evil blood. We silence every evil tongue. We silence every evil altar. We silence every witchcraft sacrifice. In the name of Jesus Christ. And they overcame him. Ah, they accused them, he accused them day and night before their God. That's what the Bible said, verse 11, verse 10. And verse 11 says, and they overcame him by the blood of the lamb. What is the blood of the lamb? They are talking about the blood of Jesus. Even in heaven, the blood of Jesus was there. Even in heaven, the blood was there. And they overcame him by the blood of the lamb and by the word of their testimony. Today, I speak by the word of God. This Easter, let the blood speak for you. This new season that we are entering, the season of April, the season that we remember the blood, the season that we remember the blood that was shed once and for all. Let the blood, the everlasting blood, the everlasting testament speak for you. Let not any voice speak against you. By the blood of Jesus, uh, we silence that voice. Uh, by the blood of Jesus, we take authority. By the blood of Jesus, let that voice be silenced. Uh, in Jesus' mighty name. Hallelujah. And they overcame him by the blood of the Lamb. Hallelujah. And by the way of their testimony. What is your testimony? What are you saying about the blood? What are you testifying about the blood? If you can testify about the blood, that becomes a testimony for you that the blood of Jesus overcame Satan in heaven. And by that same blood, he overcame Satan on this earth. That is why I know the blood is there, that I can use the blood to overcome the devil. That is why I can speak the voice of the blood. That's why I can speak the tongue of the blood. That's why I can speak through the blood, that by the blood of Jesus, by the blood covenant in Zechariah 9, verse 11. I have come out of that prison. I have come out of that spiritual prison. Nothing can hold me anymore. By the blood covenant, uh, there is a voice speaking for me. As you read in Hebrews chapter 9, verse 11, there is a voice speaking for me. By the blood of Jesus, uh, the New Testament is speaking for me. That Old Testament is silenced. Uh, that evil voice is silenced. Uh, by the blood of Jesus, I have overcome that evil. In the name of Jesus Christ. Somebody say, I overcome that evil. By the blood, I overcome it. By the blood, overcome that evil dream. By the blood, I am redeemed. By the blood, is speaking for me. By the blood speaking for me, I am redeemed. No evil will come against me. In the name of Jesus Christ. Verse 12 says, Therefore, hallelujah, rejoice ye heavens and ye that dwell in them. Ah, and after that, he continue. Woe to the inhabitants of the earth. Ah, and to the seal, hallelujah, of the earth and of the seal, of the sea, hey, of the sea. For the devil is come down unto you, having great wrath, anger, pain, because he knows that he had but a short time. Ah, Jesus is coming again. The devil is, is going to be permanently destroyed. Jesus is coming again. He had but for what? a short time. And when the dragon saw that he was cast onto the earth, he persecuted the woman which brought forth the man child. That is why we make, you know, the, the dragon is always after you. He persecuted the woman that brought forward the man child. And to the woman were, were given what? Two wings of a great word, eagle. Hallelujah. And the Bible says, and the Lord helped the woman. Ah, verse 16, what? And, and the Lord, or verse 16, and the earth helped the woman. Today I speak by the word of God. And the evil that will come against you, may the earth rise up and speak for you. Let there be a voice to speak for you. Let there be a tongue to speak for you. And the satanic tongue that will speak against you by the blood of Jesus Christ. 
today we silence that tongue. By the voice of the blood, today we silence that tongue. By the voice of Jesus Christ, let that tongue be silenced. We destroy every satanic tongue. We destroy every evil tongue, every evil imagination, every satanic imagination. Whatever speaks evil against you, we silence it in Jesus' mighty name. By the blood of Jesus, you are redeemed. By the blood of Jesus, you are free from that captivity. By the blood of Jesus, the earth will speak for you. In Jesus' mighty name. Hallelujah. I don't know who is hearing me, but I want to thank all those hearing me that as this word is coming to you, this word is going to be something that will anchor you in this Easter. The blood will speak for you this Easter. You will not hear bad news. If you can use the blood every morning, you can use the blood every evening, you can speak the blood every morning and every evening. By the blood, you are covered. No evil will happen to you. Your children will not see evil. You will not hear any evil news. You will not hear any bad news. Everything, the victory came by the word of their testimony. Testify the blood. Speak the blood. The victory will come by your word. You have to declare it. Somebody say, I declare it. By the blood of Jesus, I declare it. Somebody say it by the blood of Jesus, because the blood is speaking for me. By the blood I speak, uh, let every evil be destroyed. Let every voice be destroyed. That's why if you look at Romans chapter 10, Romans chapter 10, hallelujah. Romans chapter 10, let's speak the blood. Romans chapter 10, if you look at verse 10. It said, for with the heart, man believes unto righteousness. And with the mouth, confession is made unto what? salvation. So when confession is made, uh, you are saved. Uh, by the blood, you are saved. By the blood, I overcome. And overcame it by the blood. As, as you are confessing it, uh, you are confessing it what, unto salvation. You are confessing it unto being saved. Uh, today, by the blood of Jesus, uh, I don't know the voice that is speaking. I don't know the tongue that is speaking. But today, we overcome it by the blood. Let the blood speak for you. Let there be a voice to speak for you. Somebody speak the blood. This Easter, speak the blood. This is to appropriate the blood. Use the blood against the enemy. Declare the blood in Jesus' mighty name. Hallelujah. Second Corinthians. Second Corinthians. Chapter 4. Ah, verse 13. Somebody say, I speak the blood. I speak the blood. By the blood, I speak it and I declare that by the blood, I overcome every evil. I overcome every accident. I overcome every evil death. On certain, on certain, or the Bible said, on timely death, I overcome it. I will not see any misfortune. By the blood, every misfortune is silenced. Today, I speak in Jesus' mighty name. Wherever you are hearing me for, I don't know who is hearing me. Today, by the blood, I speak to your life. You are free from that evil. That sickness you are going through, it will not bring you down. The sickness will not bury you. By the blood, the blood is speaking for you. We silence that sickness. Second Corinthians chapter 4, verse 13. I'm going to run out very soon. Hallelujah. We've got, we've got a few announcements to make. Second Corinthians chapter 4, verse 13. It says, We, having the same spirit of faith, say the same spirit of faith. Hallelujah. According as it is written, Ah, I believe, and therefore have I spoken. Somebody must speak. If you don't speak it, that means you don't believe it. Say, I believe, therefore have I was spoken. And therefore have I spoken. Hallelujah. Say, we also believe, and therefore what? Speak. If you don't speak it, that means you don't believe it. Somebody speak it this evening. Somebody, let the blood speak for you. Let the blood that you believe in speak for you. Somebody appropriate the blood. Let the word of God come to you. Let the blood speak for you. That whatever you are going through, by the blood of Jesus, we overcome that evil. But, and they overcame him by the blood and by the word of their testimony. What is that testimony? They believe and they testify. They believe and they spoke. So as you are speaking this evening, as you are speaking through this medium, as you are hearing this message through this medium, let the blood speak for you in the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. The blood of Jesus. The blood that speaks better things. The blood that gives us strength from day to day. Today, may the blood speak for somebody, wherever you are hearing me from. Let there be a voice from the blood to speak for you. Let it be a voice from the blood to take you through in Jesus' mighty name. This is Pastor Fred bringing you the message from Deliverance Outreach Ministry. That's Unit 1, 17 Aga Avenue, E107QE. All those hearing me from Hodinstar Online, God bless you for tuning in. This is Pastor Fred and the hour of deliverance coming to you. 
We are trusting God that this message has been a blessing unto somebody. You will use the message that you've heard. You use the quotation that you've heard to plead the blood against the enemy. That the blood will speak for you this Easter. The blood will speak for your family this Easter. The blood will cover you this Easter. The blood will not allow evil to happen to you. But if there is any voice speaking against you, by the blood you overcome it. The message is coming from our life, from our studio, and beam through or hot Insta online, on the Facebook, YouTube, wherever you are hearing me from. I trust God that this message has been a blessing unto you. This is the hour of deliverance from Unit 1, 17 Aga Avenue. That's Unit 1, 17 Aga Avenue, E10, 7QE. Unit 1, 17 Aga Avenue, E10, 7QE. If you want to call our Apostle General, the number to call is 079-50-701-7000. 8530 079 Don't forget our Easter conference well, using the blood to silence evil voices, evil altars, evil sacrifice, witchcraft sacrifice. Using the blood to silence it is coming this Easter. No, the 7th of April, next month, we are just on a few days from next month, two days from Deliverance now. Deliverance Outreach Ministries presents 10 Days of Easter Festival of Deliverance Conference. Theme, using the blood of Jesus to blot out witchcraft covenants, evil agreements, and demonic promises. Program schedule from Good Friday, 29th March through Sunday, 7th April. Monday to Saturday, 6.30 p.m. to 9 p.m. Sunday, 31st March and 7th April, joint services 2 p.m. to 6 p.m. Visiting preacher and main speaker, Bishop Dr. Abraham Chibundu. Host pastor, Apostle Dr. Jones Boateng. Call 07950701853. Venue, Unit 1, 17 Argyle Avenue, Leighton, London, E10, 7QE. 10 days of Easter Festival of Deliverance Conference.